Hey, what's going on with it, uh, ladies and gentlemen? Ponies and Gentlemen, this is the one, the only criticism guy, 2009, aka Nintendo Free 211. Um, before I do start this video, um, once a baby, I'm even doing videos or uh, AM news, etc., because uh, unfortunately I ended up having like a little bit of a death in the family. I'm not going to get too personal on it, but um, long story short, um, health wasn't doing that good, and um, unfortunately she ended up passing away. I know, thank God, she's in a better place, you know. She had a lot of crazy pain and shit in her life, a lot. I haven't seen her in almost 11 years, so uh, it's been a long-ass time, you know. I mean, I was a little sad about it at the same time, you know. That's life, you know. I'm just going to have to move on, you know. It is what it is. I know a couple times back in the days when she used to take care of me every now and then, but I don't have to get too personal on it. I mean, I ain't cried that much or anything either, but at the same time, it did kind of suck, you know. Somebody that kind of took care of me, not since birth, but, you know, shit was hard, you know. It was kind of a little bit of a blow to my family. I haven't talked to my family about a good two years. I'm talking with my roommates and shit now. But uh, other than that, you know what, I was glad she's in a better place, in a safer place, because <laughs> this world is so full of fucking bullshit and evil, it's ridiculous beyond the dumbness. So without further ado, let's begin. So I actually got two more of their videos planned, actually four. I'm going to be doing probably five altogether. I'll be doing two of my Nintendo Free channel and then three over here. I'll also be talking about that whole Amanda Berry situation thing. A lot of people are crazy struck on because I'm a Moreno dude that looked like a crackhead. He ended up saving them. And there's already a lot of jokes and memes going around the internet because it shows you how fast Facebook, Twitter, and um, social fucking media is. It's because my generation, they made that shit up and boom, it took the world by storm. Literally. But yeah, without further ado, let's begin. Um, Washington March. My God, there's like so many things I want to say about this topic. I've been wanting to talk about it since like Monday, Tuesday when it came out. I think Sunday at the earliest this past week because it's Saturday now while I'm doing this video. Um, what I found out is that, um, what's it called? It's going to be on the 4th of July about like good two months from now. Um, there's two things that kind of worries the shit out of me about this because a lot of New World Order, like little metal militias that are out there and shit like that, so... I hope some prayers go out to them. Hopefully they don't get slaughtered or anything by the FBI or CIA, DA, etc. They can go fuck theirself, obviously. You already know how I feel about that. <laughs> but other than that, you know, uh, um, God bless them, man, because this shit's going to be hard as fuck to try to get to that shit passed through Congress and all that Washington shit, you know. Little letter fucking boys, as the ghetto calls them. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you know, basically... Um, what can I say about it? Like, Fabian for Liberty was saying they might not even let them get the fuck out of their cars. They might not even let them do the whole Washington press and march. They said it's going to be peaceful, quiet, calm, cool, collective, and all that shit, which is good. Because I'm not really into protests. The thing is, back in the days when I was still a little kid, I used to call that white people shit. I mean, being met some Puerto Rican, obviously, you know. They didn't give a shit about us, obviously. You know, why the fuck they give a fuck about us, you know? I had that type of mentality at that time. I'm, I'm older. Some of them... They still don't give a shit about us, but there are other Caucasians out there that do sort of give a shit about us. And quotation marks, sort of, you know? But other than that, you know, basically, um, you now they're going to come with their guns and their ammo. They said the ammo is going to be fully loaded when they bring their guns and their firearms to the, not to the White House, almost to the White House, close to it. Like, I don't know if they're going to put some barriers or anything on them. Probably going to be a lot of, like, um, dark escalates going around all over the place, so there's going to be a lot What's the word I'm looking for? Not intrusion, but there's going to be a lot of um, heavy, act, heavily activity when it comes to this guy right here. And, you know, they're just fighting for, you know, freedom and liberty. You know, that's good. You know, I'm on their side for that, you know? That's what the country was founded on, you know? The whole George Washington sh shit and all that, you know? It was pretty big, you know? Two more other things I want to say about this video is that, uh, number one, I also want to give a shout out to Real Quick, May K Electric, you know, my Nintendo free channel. And get a drink of this power first. Drink, we need some gum, gum too. You, <laughs> you haven't noticed, by the way, I am eating. But yeah, he was telling me about the whole situation and shit, how it's going down and everything like that. <laughs> Hopefully, it is peaceful and quiet because they end up shooting up the shit out of all those protesters and shit. It's not going to be a good, good look. <laughs> not a good picture at all, in the slightest. That's number one. Number two, what I wanted to say is that, um, could this be a false flag terror attack? I don't know. It's all on God's hand. That's all I got to say about that shit, you know. But yeah, you know, I know this video wasn't like 10, 20 minutes of me rambling and ranting about stuff. But you know what? It's what it is. And like I say, like, comment, subscribe. 
It is what it is. I ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you guys. Have a good day. Have a good night. Wherever you're out around the world. Peace out. Take care. Later. God bless. And um, take care and goodbye, all right? And uh, don't drink or smoke weed at the same time. And uh, don't do anything reckless. You guys take it easy. Peace and light. You guys take it easy and see you soon. <laughs> all right. See you around and goodbye. Late.